We have questions. Uh, Anna Vandensky from the EU Reporter. Our Mr. Verhofstadt, why do you put so much accent on Frontex if our, very soon they will be visa-free with Turkey, so they will be entirely new situation? Do you anticipate it? <clears throat> I mean, the new situation when it will be visa-free with Turkey. Well, you know the conclusions of the Council, so I mean that uh, illusion, conclusion, illusion. What, what, uh, what is clear that uh, we, we, we have to uh, stop to talk about Frontex. Uh, Frontex is the past. It's not longer Frontex. It's from now on the European border and Coast Guard. And European border and Coast Guard uh, will be a common system of managing and registration on our, all external borders of Schengen. And on top of that also a capacity to intervene immediately in two, three days uh, with border guards on the European level if there is a lack of a well-functioning uh, managing of an external border in whatever country. <laughs> so, in whatever country. Uh, that is completely independent on, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of the, the visa system where we're going to have, but it's crucial. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that uh, in the meanwhile uh, also the Greek government uh, said uh, yes to this idea, uh, to uh, this reform. I'm less pleased by uh, the new Polish government uh, who have doubts uh, to participate in this uh, system, but I think it's crucial. You cannot have a Schengen area and this Schengen uh, zone is going to disappear if we don't now take the decision for this European border and coast guard. And my appeal to the Council is not only to say, oh, uh, we welcome uh, the proposal by the Commission or something like that, but to take already now, in principle, the decision to do it and then uh, to have a fast-track procedure together with the European Parliament to establish it. But uh, uh, there, there is no reason why we should doubt at the necessity to have such a, a European border and coast guard, uh, even uh, with uh, a more uh, visa-free regime with a number of countries. Other questions? If not, then uh, oh, well, follow up. Our, uh, then second question are about Brexit, because so you said that you are pleased with the article that appeared today. We all read it, I suppose. So what are the reforms that can be done urgently to accommodate British interest? Yeah, but I, I was pleased, uh, n n not because specifically the four requests by the, the British government. We know them. And I was in, 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 in Downing Street 10 last week with Mr. David Cameron talking about this. And I think that... Uh, uh, it's certainly possible to find uh, a solution for this uh, four uh, request, even when the fourth one uh, on the in work benefits is a very difficult uh, one, because the basic uh, principle there is uh, the principle of non-discrimination and how you deal with this if you cannot discriminate uh, as it is foreseen in, in the treaty. So that's a very difficult one. But the, the main message is, and that's also the message in the common uh, uh, the common text that has been published today uh, by the foreign ministers of I Italy and UK is that uh, to look to these four requests, not in a defensive way, but in an offensive way, to say, okay, let's link to these four requests. Also, these reforms, in-depth reforms, Europe need besides the four requests of Cameron. And that is mainly uh, the whole issue about uh, the uh, governance of the Eurozone. Uh, that, uh, uh, and, the, and the democratic accountability, how to organize it. Uh, that is mainly uh, the whole question about uh, the, lo the obstacles that we still have uh, on the internal market, energy union, for example. An energy union is not possible if we don't change the treaty. That is, uh, uh, all the problems linked to uh, our uh, foreign policy and uh, defense policy, our geopolitical uh, tools uh, that we don't have for, uh, for the moment. So I, I think that uh, uh, in that respect it was uh, an encouraging uh, letter because that means that uh, from the British side they accept that uh, 
uh, finally the exercise to be done not uh, from now until uh, February but from now until 2018 is not only uh, to make the necessary changes to accommodate the four requests by the British government but also to accommodate the in-depth reforms that are going beyond this four requests and that are urgently need for the Eurozone, urgently need for the European Union as well. And, and, and that is the uh, uh, that is the, the exercise uh, to, 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 to make to uh, uh, how to deal with this four request. Uh, normally, there, could, there should be an extraordinary summit on this in, uh, on, the, on the Dutch presidency in February. Um, but beyond that, uh, we have to prepare the in-depth reform of the union that is necessary for this four request, but is also necessary for other uh, for other reasons more existential reasons, I should say, than the four requests of the British government. No more questions? Then we wish you a very good day. Okay. See you on Thursday in, in Brussels.